Welcome, episode 13 of this Let's Play Season 3. I am exceedingly short in diamond, so I'm going to s solve that little problem of mine. Now, uh, there is a way to craft diamonds using industrial craft, and that way involves all this coal dust. Uh, it also involves, uh, if I can manage to find it, because I don't really know where this I placed it before, you need flint, and I know I had a, a stack of flint somewhere. It has to be somewhere. Yes, here it is, perfect. So, by placing a, a piece of flint in the center of your craft, uh, crafting table and surround it with coal dust, you're going to get this uh, coal ball. Now, uh, you can use coal balls to do several different stuff. You can, they are crafted like so, but they can be used in a compressor to make compressed coal balls. You can also hydrate the coal and the like, but for the time being, let's just uh, stick for diamonds production. And in the meantime, I am collecting the items. I need to be cooking. Okay, some silver, some spare coal, some rubber. Perfect. So, why don't we think about starting our little system for auto sorting of different stuff. Um, by the way, the bricks are with me for a reason. Uh, first of all, we're going to need uh, a chest or two to place things at the start. So let's craft uh, another chest. I like to have two, one in reserve just in case. And at least for the time being I am going to use these ones because if not, I would be forced to use... Uh, let me see if I can manage to find this recipe... Ender pearl can be used to craft ender chests or ender pouches. However, they require blaze rods. And I don't have those, nor do I have any of those uh, detected. So, where are we going to place our system to start with? Well, first I'm going to sleep through the night, and then I am going to think uh, the most logical place to be for the, for that is near the near the door, near my main access to the inside of the system. So, for example, I can uh, remove this, place some obsidian. What are you doing in here? And what were you carrying around? Wait a second while I take care of this freeloader. Okay, I want the chest to be able to be accessed from outside, so there we go. We're going to use our previous trick of using slabs to form a complete uh, item and at the same time allow us to open the chest. Perfect! Now, uh, here I'm going to place... Another, no, not a slab, sorry. A regular piece of, uh, of this, perfect. And now we're going to grab ourselves some uh, diamond hand saw and turn this into several covers. Perfect. Uh, why am I going to do that? Because -da, we're going to work with the undergrounds. Okay, so we're going to need all the machinery we crafted two episodes ago, oh dear, was it that long ago already? Time surely flies by. And we're going to need also some... Mm, some tubing, some cabling, and some other stuff. We're going to need also a timer, which uh, we do have... No, we don't have any, any timer be, uh, downstairs. But uh, worry not. So first we need to place something connected to this chest so we can start pulling items from it. Well, let me first protect this little place uh, like this, for example, so we can make sure uh, items won't be 
being taken from well, explosions won't uh, mean something worrisome in here. And no, seems like we are going to play with that. Yeah, no way of um, using covers to cover one of the machines. Sadly, oh well, we need to f live with that. Let me grab the sonic screwdriver and we can solve this little orientation trouble we have in here. Perfect. Now we grabbed our chest. And there we go, as good as new. So right now items will be taken from this chest through this filter. However, this filter needs some sort of redstone power, which we don't currently have connected. How are we going to do that? Well, first I'm going to empty all this place, being a little careful because I don't want to fall under the under this underground. I mean, remember under this uh, under all this we have uh, our thumbcraft experimentation room, which should be expanded. Let me grab this crucible for the time being. I am going to change it somehow. And I believe we are going to need some Vs or Vaporous Crystals. Let me check for a second. We are not going to need the screwdrivers for now. And let me see my Thaumonomicon. Yes, I know I am like a headless chicken all the time going here and there. It was lost knowledge after all. Yeah. In the crucible of the eye, we need the, the redstone, spider eye, and some thomium ingot. Okay, we can gra get the spider eye from here, the redstone we have with us, but we're going to need uh, thomium, and that requires something a little, well, more detail. For the time being, let's place this in here, this in here, and the crucible on top. Perfect. Crucible of the eyes. Now let me see if we can see how the thaumium is crafted in here. Yes. Thaumium ingot. Nope. Uh, I believe we need some iron and some crystals, but uh, not a high priority right now. Going to store the thermonomicon inside my my tr bag of tricks. Let me check. Uh, was it two pieces of iron, if I'm not mistaken? And I believe we were going to need to. I don't. I won't think uh, they are going to work like this. Nope. We're going to need the infuser. So let me see. Yes, there we go. Uh, will it work with vaporous crystals? Yeah. Shame I didn't thought of that before. And uh, let's hope we do have enough. Uh, yeah, perfect. Thaumium crucible. This is the top and crucible version. Perfect. Want to mess with us? It won't give us any tra any kind of trouble, and will never um, overfill. Anyway, we have one, two, three, four. A four height uh, room we can make underground without any kind of worry. This is right now, well, I believe this is more than enough for now, at least. So what I'm going to do is to take a redstone tube for the time being. No, not for the time being. I'm going to take a redstone tube. And let me pick some marble bricks to cover this and this. And the torch. And we're going to place... Should be... Yeah. Now, can we place this in here? Yes. Seems like it was only a slight problem. Okay, perfect. Now we are going to need to craft ourselves one of the f uh, our first logical gate. 
logical gates are going to require <coughs> we cook some regular stone in a furnace and I know I should be upgrading furnaces soon but uh, I'm a little like blizzards in this regard soon means an indeterminate amount of time in the unforeseeable future and no iron doesn't go in there see why I need a sorting machine? I can't even make uh, heads or tails of what am I carrying around very well let's see if we can do that uh, this with just our memory hmm. nope nope but we're going to need the wafers perfect okay we're going to need one stone pointer in fact I am going to use two because I am going to craft myself well uh, two of these nifty machines and we are going to need let's say like this yeah and now we're going to make something else was it like this or something like that no uh, or was it uh, the other way around now I don't remember oh dear this is so shaming ah there we go it was like so just like this and this let's craft six okay with this should be should have enough uh, things to work if I can somehow remember how was this crafted which of course is always a matter of uh, imagination oh of course three uh, okay this go in there and there and there this go in there and there and there this doesn't go there this goes in here no yeah timers two timers perfect perfect I wouldn't have done it better myself oh wait I I just did it myself uh-huh mm. Okay, let's leave th that like so. Let's store this redstone we are not going to need. But we are going to need the stone jacketed wire, more than likely. So, what am I going to do here is first... Uh, I'm going to take the, out this. Grab myself some cobblestone. Place it in here. Perfect. I don't really like that one too. Perfect. You can see this is not uh, connecting to the wall. Don't worry, this is normal. Now we need a piece of un uh, uncovered reed alloy wire, and ta-da! It's now connecting to here. However, we are not going to use that that much. See, it is now working. Mm. And we can adjust the timer interval. I am going to place it in 1.5 seconds. Should be enough. So we now have a working system that will take uh, items out of there. Uh, we are not going to need redstone tube anymore, I hope. And the items will be taken here. Okay, let's say here better. Now we need to sort them somehow. How are we going to do that? Uh, with the sorting machine, of course. We're going to pick our sorting machine, place it like so, and we now need to place items inside to tell it what to do with them. However, of course, you remember, I want to leave the, that as black for referential pr purposes. However, this uh, little item requires energy, power, electricity. And there are two ways we can do that. First, we can craft ourselves some sort of conversion system that will take energy from uh, the interaction between heat and cold. It can be interesting, and it's in fact the only way of getting electricity power in the nether, but uh, I am not uh, a huge fan of the thermopile. Frankly, I don't have the slightest clue how to use it effectively. So I am going to use some solar panels. 
there are some already on the rooftop that uh, are powering my main system and of course I could uh, just run around with some batteries charging stuff and the like but I don't want to do it all the time mm? oh hi how are you doing? suppose you are not doing that great don't worry oh didn't drop anything shame so let me a oh, creeper this is exceedingly uh, aggressive oh well mm -mm -mm -mm. I suppose this is the only place we can really ouch use and it blow up it uh, makes a mess in here but the basalt resisted it did resist I lost however the chests and there's a mess to be solved right now so let's go to that let's eat something now that we are t at that and I am going to drive uh, cablings down there you can see there's not a problem for now at least uh, well there is a problem I need to get out of course but uh, that's it so while I recover all this mess uh, let's pause the recording very well it's all sorted now Mm, let's remove this from here so we can have it nicely and scalmated. I place some sort of access to the roof, at least temporarily, and there's a battery box being charged right now. Perfect. Everything looks good. Now we need to take down a cabling down there, but there is a problem. We can't run cables using basalt cover as a base. We can, however, use regular basalt, so I suppose that's the end of part of my project. But uh, fear not. There we go. And there we go. And there we go. And we're going to need to cut some more basalt. We have already some basalt co uh, cut in here, basalt slabs. Let's take our diamond hansel. And let's say 10, for example. Yeah. So we get 40 covers more than enough but if uh, we need less we can always restore it later okay now we can place here nice window see there's no way of knowing something's going on from outside well save for the chest uh, should cover that chest anyway if there's another explosion and of course I'm going to need another button. Note to self, never get out without a button. This will defeat the purpose of my placing uh, the chest in here instead of in front, but uh, what can we do against that? Okay, perfect. Mm, not so perfect. Let me remove that one in there and yeah, perfect. Now it's perfect. I think I'm going to need more cabling, but fear not, we can craft it uh, rather easily. I do have the materials. And we're covering the system so it won't uh, look messy. Remember, if you have disabled smooth lighting here, you will note a definite uh, pattern where you place the covers and the slabs and the like compared to the regular ones. It's uh, if you have that problem, just enable again smooth lighting. Okay, made myself some wool. I uh, should really go get out and start shearing the co the the fellas I have outside, after all that's why I do have them outside and I forgot of course to pick myself some more blue a blue alloy ingots 
Anyway, we do have now 24 blue alloy wire, which is more than enough to cover our needs, I hope. And we get down in here. We keep running cabling. There we go. Nice and working. Haha. <laughs> okay. Now we need to bring here some items and the like. Oh well. So I suppose one of the pieces survive. One of the chests. Anyway, we already placed here the first uh, fella. Now I need to integrate all this machinery in there. I am not going to move all this uh, to that wall, which means all the items need to cross the room altogether. Uh, but I might need to move them. Let me check if I have this in lossless mode. Yeah, I have it disabled. And let's remove all the items from here. Perfect. Why am I doing this? Because I am going to move them, of course. Let me charge the lab pack in the meanwhile. There's no use of wasting so good solar power. And uh, let me open my back of wonders to storage some of the items I am not currently using. And clean my inventory a little. And since we were working with uh, the compressed coal walls, I can show that you how to craft them in the next stage. Coal chunks. We got six. But uh, worry not. These coal chunks is the one is the stuff we're going to compress to make ourselves diamonds, I believe. Yes, see? All natural diamonds. Haha. <laughs> no longer industrial versions of the, of them. Well, both chests survived. Fascinating. Okay. <clears throat> now, as I said, we need to set up here uh, the system. But uh, I am going to need to think about uh, other item to place in there. And we're talking about the electrolyzer. The electrolyzer is, you can see, something fairly simple and cheap that will take all the energy that gets uh, overproduced from here, all that energy we're not using, and use it to uh, charge some water cells in a way uh, if, like they were some sort of batteries, rechargeable batteries. Once the MFE value drops cer a certain below a certain point, uh, the electrolyzer will work in reverse. However, in the case of <coughs> some machines and other items, you, requ you do require electrolyzed uh, water cells for some stuff. Uh, they can indeed, in fact, be extracted or, compressor, or compressed. I can't right now remember it. Uh, to make some other materials for other stuff. Okay, so let me grab again this fell line here. No need to use uh, lossless right now. It can't lost. Can be you can't lose a uh, light voltage transformer. <coughs> and I am thinking of running the cabling underground. So I'm going to empty all down here and I'll be back with you once it's nice and clean. Okay, let's place here a transformer. It's facing up, meaning it's okay, I suppose. Isn't it? No, it's not. Perfect. Great for me. I am such a klutz. I already told you that, didn't I? Hmm. Okay, there we go. Now it's safe and sound. Gold scaling inside uh, the regular system. And now we can grab ourselves some cobblestone, some copper cable. 
and start working with this. I want here one connection, here two connections, and here another two, and here one connection. Now let me grab myself some of this and this, and there we go. So one, two, three. Hmm. We're going to need all our bat boxes, of which we have only two right now. Oh, maybe I will need to craft some. Anyway, from here, one, two, three, and four comes this. Perfect. Now, to here, we're going to need a bat box like this. It is not charging. Mm. Did I did? Oh, of course, I did something really wrong. Let's hope nothing will explode now. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now this is going nice and steady. And we need another bat box around here somehow. Or I can place it in the middle. Like so. And it is not charging. Why is not? Uh, should be charging. Unless uh, this one in here has more priority. No, of course, sorry. I did it again. Oh dear. There we go. Now it's charging. Perfect. And I will have some loss in there, but I uh, can't avoid that for now. It's not fancy, it's not cool, it's not good, but it works, I hope. <coughs> Should work. So now we have all these systems in here. Only that point is this here, but we can solve that by simply placing some of these in here as a separation and camouflage. Great. Now we need to feed the machines. And to feed the machines we're going to use, you guessed it right, pneumatic tubes. Outputs, inputs. Uh, extractor, yes. You're going to output and input the extractor. And both of these. I am not going to use the compressor in that way. Only There's only one or two things I can send here, and I prefer to work manually with the him. Also, bear in mind that I might change all the underground cabling, <coughs> because I might found uh, better uh, or more advantageous to just um, upgrade the system once I have enough resources place some up, uh, upgrading systems in here so I can just run the cabling directly here without a com uh, transformer there taking down instead of cold cable cabling just uh, the other more advanced one okay now let's place uh, this here I don't want to have too much things right there perfect now you might be answer uh, you might be telling yourself but oh dear this looks awful how can we solve that well if you're not my uh, loyal watchers we can call for help in uh, the way of the diamond honso with some marble brick covers first i am going to cover this in here Perfect. And this in. Let me see if I can adjust it here. And this one in there. Perfect. Now, this won't help us covering the underground, but there is always a solution. Remember the jacketed wire? Well, we can also make covers in the same pattern without placing anything in the middle. And look at how good does this looks. Well, isn't it good? I believe so. 
Anyway, we're going to need to place some covers in the backs of the of the machines because items need to go inside somehow. And uh, my way of choice is the back side. Like this. If I manage to surpass some trouble. There's no need to um, place two at the same time, however. Okay, perfect. Now, I believe we're not going to... Yes, in here. Ah, oh, perfect. Yes, in here too. Can't cross here, but I can make a turnaround. And there we go. Again, one in here cover in there. We don't even need to place the other uh, more at this, the other one covering the back. So it's even better. And there we go. So the way things are right now, items will either go inside the extractor if they are, I don't know, um, rubber, sticky resin, or uh, I mean rubber tree wood or sticky resin, they will go in here uh, or ores will go in there uh, cook things that you cook like the dust and some other stuff will go in here into the furnaces and nothing will go or get out of here perfect and items will get out on the front. It's a fairly simple, so to, so to consider it, mechanism. It has been used uh, uncounted times before, and we can, well, use it without much worries. Now, uh, we're going to need extractors to take items out of those systems. In fact, we're going to need one extractor to take items from the macerators into the furnaces. So why don't we take uh, this in here, this in here, and connect them. Let me check where is it, my extractor, and I am sorry... If, ah, there it is. Retriever, sorry. I'm sorry if I'm naming things uh, in, way, in weird ways. Perfect. Uh, now the extractor requires both a rest on signal, that means another clock, or taking the signal to there, and electricity. And now that we are at that, uh, we're going to require Okay, let's suppose this is going to be for to the main sorting room. We are going to need another... Oh, we can run, run this on the top. For the main sorting room. And we are going to need to craft ourselves more tubing. This is going to be a mess, by the way. I know me and I am sorry, but it will be a mess. And there you can see the compressor taking the a cold chunk and turn it into diamonds. So we effectively took uh, 64 coal and some, what was the name, some bricks and using some time turned them into a diamond. And of course we can turn a diamond with an energy value of 8000 into that and thus we could make a never-ending machine that would produce di uh, infinite diamonds for us automatically more than likely faster than equivalent exchange can however since that would be an exploit of sorts I prefer to leave things like so anyway we need to take items also from uh, the the electric furnaces and send them there. Mm, this goes from... okay. Perfect. There we go. And we place here another extractor, but we're going to need our 
Sonic Screwdriver, where are you? Yeah, there we are. Perfect. I've been thinking, and I doubt this is really uh, a book. Remember, there is a difference between the regular electric wrench and uh, the well, the regular wrench and the electric wrench in industrial craft, and that is the lossless mode. Since uh, the screwdriver has no difference with the sonic screwdriver, but the energy source, I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's intentional the way you can charge the sonic screwdriver with a talisman of repair, but it's not really a great back, so to speak, a great book. And we need to keep these things separated. Uh, and I will do that using something later. Told you this wasn't going to be pretty, didn't I? Okay. And we need some paintings. We're going to need uh, paint to differentiate the different uh, the st all the stuff. And that means tin cans. How do we can craft those? Well, we're going to need tin on the first place, and I believe we're going to need uh, iron. I'm not sure about that, but it's a possibility. And we're going to take our electric alloy furnace, blue electric, sorry. And you can see we are cooking something with the iron and the tin. To be precise, tin plates. Yeah, let it cook because we're going to need a fair high amount of them. We're going to need yellow paint. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, at least ten, meaning at least seven. We're going to need more than seventy, so not a great deal to use these tin plates. No recipe listed by NAI. And sadly, I believe I already overstepped the uh, log length for the chapter, so we are going to leave it at that, uh, waiting for episode 13 to go ahead and finish the sorting machine. Stay tuned and have fun, people!